Hello, everybody. Uh, very happy to be contributing to the landing talks of the CC Open Education uh, Platform. Um, for this um, presentation, it, we're very happy to do so because it's, a, it's our first opportunity to give back what the CC grant that uh, we obtained through this platform uh, has made. And I think we, we will show that uh, this small initiative can really grow and scale to something very big. So my name is Werner Westermann, and we want to talk about uh, offline OER, especially to uptake one of the huge, one of the biggest challenges that this pandemic uh, context has caused uh, because of the educational uh, disruption. I'm talking about the negative impact on learning and how learning can also be lost you can acquire, you, you, you can learn uh, new things, but you can also lose them. And, and um, the Ministry of Education joined the World Bank trying to uh, look in our country and see, uh, evaluate the impact, um, the impact of, um, of this disruption. And the numbers in, are really astonishing. Um, in average, Chilean students would lose 88% of their prior learning. This is this is the learning of the year before. And of course, for the poorest uh, segments of the uh, of our population, that it's even uh, bigger, up to 95%. But even for the richest um, population, the impact is all is very big. And this is something that that it's uh, it's not new to to education. Uh, we've we've had evidence of uh, of a lot of uh, uh, groups that has lost learning because of educational disruption, like migrants or refugees from from wars and uh, or violent context. So so this is not not something uh, not new and um and in fact every year we have to deal with this loss especially because of the summer break in k-12 education so so we need to uptake this learning loss in a much bigger scale uh because of the pandemic so that's a huge uh challenge and another thing this uh, this uh, study also shows us is that uh, online education can only mitigate this negative impact only in, in a small impact. Um, even in richest schools where where you have uh, all the the resources to to have a, a good online education, um, it only uh, it, it's only effective on on thirty five percent mitigating this negative impact. And what to say for the public schools, uh, which are run in Chile by the local governments, is that they have very little in online online education has very little impact on 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 this learning loss. So this is a huge challenge, and in online education, in its very little effectiveness to mitigate this this context, I think there's a, another huge challenge is that online education needs connectivity. And that is also a huge challenge uh, because we have a, a limited uh, uh, way to uh, infrastructure of connectivity in our countries. Uh, what you see here is uh, a rough um, population uh, segments in Chile where you see the blue part of the pie. Uh, you have the people that have, you know, full connectivity uh, in where you can uh, deploy without any problems, uh, educational uses through internet. But what happens with the rest of the society? That blue margin is only the 8% of the population. You have a, the orange pie, which is the middle class. Uh, they have a lot of uh, restrictions related to limited plans or prepaid, in prepaid mobile plans. And you have a big segment of homes that do not have access. Uh, what to say for the lower class uh, segments? More than half of, of our population has very restrictive connectivity. So if online education is not feasible, we need to find alternative ways so we can deliver the educational process. And I think here we have a huge opportunity with OER. 
And especially if we think OER delivered by offline solutions. And if you think about offline OER, you got to be, and you have to check out Colibri. Colibri is, a, is an incredible tool developed by the, by the uh, Learning Equality Foundation. You can create um, and you can access different types of channels where you can load them in inside of this learning platform and you have and you have a, a huge amount of uh, of resources pre-existing resources but not only that you can also build and you can upload new resources so it's an incredible way to um, to deliver offline resources to the people that cannot access it through to connectivity. So we applied for a grant so we could, uh, and, and we decided to build a, a math channel from fifth grade to, to 10th grade. And uh, we did it through the Colibri Studio, another wonderful tool, uh, which lets you create these channels of sequenced uh, resources. And uh, our goal was to align this OER channel to the prioritized uh, official curriculum in Chile. And we are very proud to say that uh, we covered between fifth and 10th grade, we covered 100% of, uh, of this prioritized curriculum. A prioritized curriculum was like a compression of the curriculum for this uh, pandemic course. It's like a sort of a, a core, common core uh, standards uh, in the curriculum. So. So we're very proud to, to, to have finished and, and very well and cover in 100%. But the good news doesn't stop there. Uh, we managed to, to, to get in touch with the Ministry of Education and they will be distributing content, content access points, which are uh, where um, digital resources will be, will be installed in, in in these content access points and also Colibri. So our channel will be uh, installed uh, to have access to these rural schools that have uh, that have been very isolated in this pandemic. And um, that also led us to, to, to work around a solution, uh, a classroom setting using a Raspberry Pi as a server, which is very low tech for, for, for low, for local connectivity, another type of, of connectivity for educational purposes. But as we want to uh, get in touch with rural schools, uh, we needed to fill the gap between first and fourth grade. So we asked for more support and Learning Equality Foundation gave us uh, support so we can not only uptake first and fourth grade, but also 11th and 12th grade. So. By the end of January, we're going to have a full K-12 math curriculum of online resources totally aligned uh, to, to the curriculum. But we also applied for a, a learning equality call, and now we're working on uh, the alignment of, of, of a Calibri channel for Honduras, for the uh, aligned to the official curriculum for junior high school between seventh in ninth grade, so you can um, you can really uh, be aware that we're very happy of how this very small initiative uh, in just a couple of months has been expanded, and and even now we're working in the international level. So so uh, we're very thankful for the opportunity that uh, the Open Education Platform here in CC has given has given us to deploy this project. So for your attention, thank you so much.